shows you how much Sam changed that he would even think about going after Third Echelon. He'd been a company man, loyal to the bone. But now, here he was, ready to rip the guts out of the beast. The building's weakness was in the power supply. The main feed and primary backup ran through the basement parking garage. With a little C4 in the right places, Sam could cut the power to the building long enough to slip inside that echelon. That was good enough for Sam. He was going in, and he wanted them to know he was coming. Sam, are you in the garage? Smell like a spare tire. It was the best way. Now I need you to use the C4 you packed to take out the building's primary and secondary transformers. Do it simultaneously when you reach the front desk, and you'll have a short window before the emergency power puts security back online. They're both on the parking level, right? Right, but in two separate rooms. And don't be seen or they're gonna seal the security doors and you're done. And don't give those surveillance cameras a show. Get a move on, Sam. My contact on the inside just sent me a text. Security's looking for him. He's a techie named Charlie Fryman. And before you ask, yes, I trust him. Well, that's good enough for me. Where is he? Near the server room. Get to him before security does, or he won't be able to help you. Attention all personnel, please remember to keep your key card with you at all times. Without your key card, you will not be able to access the building and may be detained until proof of your identity can be provided. Thank you. Echelon had always been about was the truth. Even after everything that happened, he'd held on to that. But now he was coming back as the hunter, as the enemy, as the one thing he'd never thought he'd be. And the truth 
It was waiting for him. I'm sorry, we're closing the office early for some routine maintenance. Please try again tomorrow. Thank you. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid the office is closed for the evening. I'm here to see Tom Reed. Mr. Reed is currently unavailable, but if you'd like to make an appointment, Mr. Fisher, I used to work here. Security alert. Main power is offline. Emergency power will be online in five, Four, three, two, one, zero. Security doors are closing. Sam Fryman just sent me his location. He's waiting for you in the office off the server room. Got it. I got no target. Keep looking. Let's find this guy's run. I don't have a visual on the target. I got no contact with Fisher. I do not want him alone. All clear here. No targets at this time. Keep looking. Let's find this guy's run. Still don't see anybody out. Are we sure he's here or third at one? Keep looking. Stay alert. We've got to turn up sooner or later. Man, we've got these guys to take nice things. Get them out for two hours. I already checked all that. Okay, that's not good. The alarm going off. We need him found and we need him out now. Go! <laughs> Fryman. Yeah? Yeah. You're Fisher, right? Anna told me that you were coming. I, I was a big fan of yours back when you worked here. I was a big fan. I'm touched. What do you have for me? I've got those. Ultra high frequency sonar goggles. Better than the stuff the new splinter cells are getting. Hey, try them on. Voila. With these babies, you can see in the dark. You can see through walls. You name it. It's not bad. Plus, I tweaked them so that you can see the security system laser grid. Trip the beam, and a turret targets the break. 
nasty stuff. I programmed the algorithm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, just one thing. Um, the top of the line guys are, are packing similar gear, so if you can see them, they, they might be able to see you. Thanks. Now you better get moving. Oh, I'll be fine. I'll just tell the security guards that I was reading in the can. You know, they'll walk me right back to my office. And you, on the other hand, is... Good luck. Fisher could be in the server room. I want everybody there. ASAP. You find Fisher or anyone else besides Fryman, shoot first, ask questions later. Question reinforcements! No, we keep looking for the cause of the alarm. The sooner we're done, the sooner we're out of here at a safe distance. Now move it! Yeah. 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 Fisher's alive! We missed him at the Lincoln, but we won't in our building! Map room. Is anyone in the map room? Looks clear. Map room. Is anyone in the map room? You gotta be cool. I don't want anyone in the map room. Sweep and getting by that way. If he comes through here, I'll see him. No fire station. Hey, I'm three guys that are in the main room now. I thought I heard someone down the hall. Just not. Got it. Map room clear. deal. Protection. Well, protect me. I'm telling you, he's here. You need to do something about it. Raise the security level. Do something. He's gonna kill me. No. No, that's not enough. Nice to see you again. Look, Fisher, I can explain. He's gonna kill me. Oh! Nobody's coming to save you this time, Henri. Now tell me, what the hell is Reed up to? Reed's working with Megiddo. He's using Third Echelon to get EMPs into the country. And sighted in DC, I, I helped set it up, it's what I do. Get out of this. The president. They're gonna take out the president after the EMPs go off. They paralyze the city. Use it as cover for the hit. Tonight. Why go after the president? I can't tell you. Oh. Oh. She won't play ball, but the VP is already in Makito's pocket. Reed gets a medal, and a big fat promotion after it all goes down! That son of a bitch. Last question. This is the important one. Who do you know about my daughter? If I tell you, you're gonna kill me! I don't know 
anything about her! Fisher! Like I said, they gave me a picture. Told me to provide a body that matched. I did a lot of jobs like that for Third Echelon. Anything they needed. Ask your friend Grimm's daughter. I worked with her a bunch of times. She knows more about this than I do! Shut up. Still alive? Good. I think. I just had an interesting discussion with your friend Coben. Reed's in bed with Megiddo. They're going after the president and playing kingmaker with the VP. The EMPs are for cover. Of course. Aid won't be able to get there in the aftermath, and they'll have a convenient terrorist attack as cover for everything. Coben had a few other things to say. I'm headed to your office, Grim. What am I gonna find there? Something long overdue. Patch me through in telepresence when you get there. We'll talk then. <sighs> You're still no, loose yeah. in our building. Find him. Anybody have a line on the target? Clear. No sign of Fisher. We better hurry. Our offices need to be empty for tonight. Clear. <laughs> Civilian playing with guns. That was Sam fucking fish. Let's see if I can make you useful. So tell me about Sarah, Grimm. Tell me why you lied to me. It was Lambert's call, Sam. He thought he was no. protecting you. He had a recording system set up in his office. 
Everything that went on in there he oh saved. My. Before New York, he gave me the access codes. The files can only be triggered on site and only by me. This is what he had to say about Sarah. Sarah Fisher, I received reliable intelligence of a credible threat against her, one coming from a hole inside Third Echelon. The threat against Sarah would be used in an attempt to leverage Sam. Sam would then be compromised, and I couldn't allow that. So I made the hard choice. I think Sarah is dead, taking her off the playing board. Without her, Sam would be free to act as he needed to. He'd suffer, but she'd be safe. The rest was detailed. Preparing a new identity for Sarah, securing her. Excellent work there, Anna, and keeping her hidden. Then use that despicable creature, Coven, to provide a body that could stand in for the girl. And then I lied to my best friend. Told him his daughter was dead. Took advantage of his grief and used it for Third Echelon's purposes. And the saddest part of this, I never uncovered the mole. The danger to her and to Sam is still out there, which means this has to stay hidden. You and I know. That's all. Perhaps someday... Sam! Sam! Sam, listen to me! Sam! What? You have to listen to me. What's done is done. But right now, I need you. I need the Sam Fisher I worked with. Haven't you heard? He's dead! Just ask my daughter. Sam, please! My analysts have worked through the rest of the data that you got from White Box. We know what they're doing, and we can't stop it. Then what do you need me for? They've got three directional EMP generators in place. When they go off, the pulses will blanket the entire metro area. Optimal coverage pattern predictions place one of those three at the old city reservoir site. You need to go there and disable it. Why should I? Because that's the one that will hit Sarah's apartment. And if you stop it, you can save her from what's coming after. And the other two? There's only time to go after one. So go. Save your daughter. I was never holding her. That was just a bluff to get you in the game. And for whatever it's worth, I'm sorry. What about you? I'm going to the White House with Tom Reed, and I'm going to try to save the President. Maybe I'll see you there. Attention all personnel. Protocol 2319 is now in effect. Site cleanup and data sterilization has begun. All personnel must reach minimum safe distance of 100 yards from the building immediately. Sam, read launch protocol 2319. Get out of there. Now. Warning. Protocol 2319 is now in effect. Protocol 2319 is now in effect. 